Hi guys, good morning. This is Dan. Welcome to Angle Guides. For those of you that are new, welcome. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. For those of you that support me over on Patreon, thank you so very much for your subscriptions. This is your daily forecast for uh, Monday, August 2nd. Um, we just had the weekly, which went up this morning. Now I'm filming for August 2nd. This is a broad spectrum reading for, intended for all signs. It's more so intended when you see it rather than when it's originally created for. I will be building on the weekly and sort of the energies that have been, you know, coming in the readings before this. But um, if you're seeing this on a date other than August 2nd, that's okay. You could still use the reading if it makes sense, if it applies, if something I said rings true in your life. Feel free to take it and work with it. Um, you know, I think that it's a matter of, you know, when messages find us rather than when they're originally created for please check out the drop down menu on my daily videos in there there is um you know just some housekeeping rules things you want to think about when you utilizing my readings and also you know what decks i use if you want to support the artist if you're a tarot reader yourself um also um how to get a hold of me at my facebook business page for a private reading and social media you know links all that stuff is in there all right, so let's get into this and see what's going on with the cards. God, these cards, uh, the deck that we're working with for August, because it's Leo season, I decided to work with the Grimaldi. And it just, they shuffle beautifully as far as a new deck. I mean, yes, they're a little bit slippery, but all new decks are. Because this deck really just, like MJ, who is the creator of these decks, she really did a beautiful job in, um, uh, choosing, you know, the card stock and all of it. This is lovely. They shuffle like a dream, damn it. All right, so here's our card. Another major arcana, guys. It's the world. The world is about sort of the ending of the fool's journey, right? The assimilation of the knowledge that we've maybe gone through, the last chapter or experience that we've gone through. For some of you, because this, this is the 2nd of October, or sorry, October, Jesus, where am I? August. This could be even the closing up of, you know, something as um, obvious as the closing up of, say, July. And whatever endeavors, focuses, attentions we had going on in July and moving towards that of um, August, right? The excitement of what's to come. To me, the world is about sort of accomplishing something successfully, maybe through hard work, maybe through a long journey, maybe through quite a bit of experience, but being somehow, you know, ultimately we see this butterfly up here in the corner. It's like a sort of a form of transformation or assimilation where whatever we've just been working on, working towards uh, uh, doing, we have accomplished. We have um, uh, found, I don't know if it's the answer so much, but we found some semblance of completion. The, the completion aspect of the world card to me also indicates the beginnings of something new to follow. So that's, you know, a good thing in the sense that we have, um, an opportunity to not only, uh, uh, feel maybe proud of ourselves or, um, accomplished, uh, like we've achieved a goal, like we've done something right. Yesterday's card was the star, another also major arcana card, but to me the star uh, is that sense of peace. So somewhere I think that, you know, from the sense of, of peace from the star and maybe the sitting in the moment, in the present moment and accepting things as they are, that might be what opens up the door for us to move into this uh, 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 completion of the world card. Can you guys not fight, please? Can you get out of her face? She's an old lady. She doesn't want to rom be romanced. She's arthritic and tired. So, I'm um, sorry. Oh my God. Stop it. Leave her alone, please. It's too early in the morning and I'm on camera. Please. <coughs> Excuse me. So, remembering that that star energy is underneath this, Keeping that sense of calm, that sense of, uh, you know, intuition and awareness, um, that intelligence, that peace within us also allows us to see our accomplishments more clearly, to understand what we've learned, to understand how we've maybe learned, why we've had to learn, the journey that we've been on so far. There's hopefully a gratitude that we have for this journey or an acceptance at least that allows us to kind of wrap things up. I love how this cat is holding the world above him. Like, he's proud of what he's done. He's proud of the experience he's just gone through or had. 
Um, you know, they maybe weren't the easiest, but he's accomplished something, right? And he's very well aware of that and he's owning that. With the star underneath this, we should be owning that from a very clear, pure place. And I like that. I think this is a beautiful way to start out August and to, um, you know, continue forward through the summer and see what is being brought to us. Now, for the Psychic Tarot of the Heart, we have card number 14, which would be a five. This would also be about, um, uh, to me, fives are about transition, but this is about balance, maintaining that balance. We see the masculine, the feminine, we see pink, we see blue, we see all of this sort of, um, you know, uh, all of just the different sort of polarities represented here. I kind of really like this card. These people feel very much at peace, very happy, very complete and whole. For some of you, this could even almost indicate maybe a relationship kind of going right. I don't know why I feel that. Maybe it's just because the male female in there. But so some of you might be settling into a better stage of your relationship, maybe with yourself or with others, transitioning into that state of balance. Uh, maybe you find yourself being more um, uh, seeing things from their perspective or them seeing things from your perspective, things shifting into a state of, again, like with this world card, we have this idea of completion, the cycles being completed. Uh, and it's also, this is tripping me out because they're sharing this eye, if you look at that. And so as I'm looking at the design, it's kind of throwing me off because it feels like there's two separate faces there, even though there's not. They're working together as one. Some of you that might be in relationships or friendships or dealing with family members, I think that this indicates maybe a shift, um, something that leads more into a place of, uh, like the word says, balance or um uh, a shared vision, a shared uh, goal, and and there's a like an equality that's going on here, um, and that might be also the closing up of the chapter of uh, maybe say there was a period of inequality or not feeling seen, not feeling heard, um, not feeling sort of a, a connection or or I don't know. Um, for those of you that aren't necessarily experiencing that with a person outside of yourself, this could be just a sort of a transition into a space of balance within yourself where we're mastering sort of the masculine and the feminine within us, right? The sort of action-oriented um, uh, doer and the self-care, more nurturing, you know, feeler within us, so to speak. And so bringing that about is um, it's like sort of powerful medicine, um, a definitely a powerful perspective. It empowers us to see more clearly, um, to understand better, that sort of a thing, right? So let's go to the grounded stone. Mm -hmm. So the grounding stone is promise. And promise to me can mean a, the very thing that it says is a promise, but I also think of promise as this idea of abundance. You know, what's out there for us? What is the hope that we have within us? If we are wrapping up chapters right now, if we are in this state of peace, you know, that star card underneath this also would uh, like dovetail very nicely with that balance card. If we are bringing things into balance or feeling more connected, more whole, more complete within either our relationships or within ourselves, what does that bring to us, right? What is the sort of the excitement or the opportunities that could be potentially, um, I don't want to say hovering in the background, but could be available to us. That's the sort of promise stone. I think residing in that or grounding in that, looking at, you know, what it means to feel like, hey, this cat here to me, he's holding the whole world in his hands. The balance of this masculine feminine, they see from a bigger, broader, more complete perspective, even if that's just solely within ourselves. All of that is loaded with promise, right? Uh, excitement. Remember the grounding stone for the week is wisdom. So what is it that we're learning today or what have we learned? Can we assimilate that lear learning and that knowledge through this um, world card? Find that balance within ourselves after the assimilation of the knowledge and then see the opportunities that begin to come to us beyond this. That would be the promise, the excitement, the commitment we've maybe made just to ourselves um, to see this through, to follow this out. All right, that is your forecast. I hope you enjoyed it. 
please hit the thumbs up button, hit subscribe, tune in tomorrow. I will see you guys then. Thank you so much for tuning in and please have a wonderful day. This should be a really beautiful day. Again, I'm really liking it. Take care. Bye-bye.